They said Samsung would keep beta testing exclusive to its newest flagships. But that just changed. One UI 8 is suddenly breaking out of its comfort zone. And now, even last year's Galaxy S23 and some surprising mid-range phones are jumping in early. This isn't just another software update, it's Samsung giving us an early glimpse of its Android 16 future. But here's the twist, while some users are already enjoying the beta, others are being forced to wait, and the reasons might surprise you. Welcome back, viewers. James here. If you love staying ahead of the curve with Samsung's biggest updates, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your fellow tech fans. It really helps the channel grow. So, what's the big deal? Just weeks ago, the One UI 8 beta was limited to the S24 series and Samsung's latest foldables, the Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6. But now Samsung has quietly unlocked the door for the Galaxy S23 lineup, including the Ultra, and even tossed in some mid-rangers like the Galaxy A36, A35, A54, and A55. This move tells us something huge. Samsung isn't only rewarding those who buy the latest Ferdinand 200 phones, it's actually making older and more affordable models part of the Android 16 experiment. That's a game changer. Take the Galaxy S23 in India, for example. The beta package is massive, about 3.1 GB, with the September 2025 security patch baked in. That means it's not just fresh features, it's an important protection upgrade, too. The A36 beta is smaller at 2.1 GB, rolling out in multiple regions including the US, UK, South Korea, and India. Meanwhile, the A55's update is around 1.9 GB, and Samsung says even more devices are on the way. Word is the Z Fold 5 could be next, but Samsung is keeping the timeline mysterious, which makes us wonder, what are they waiting for? Now, getting into the beta isn't rocket science. Open the Samsung Members app, look for the One UI 8 banner, register, and once you're in, boom, head to your settings and pull the update. But here's the catch, beta software is risky. You'll get cool AI, powered features, a revamped quick share, smarter personalization, an even tighter system, wide integration, but there's a price, bugs, app crashes and performance hiccups. The question is, are you bold enough to risk it on your main phone or are you holding out for the stable release? Samsung's timing is also fascinating. They already tested one UI 8 on the S25 earlier this year, pushed a stable version on the Fold 7 and Flip 7 this summer, and now they're expanding aggressively to older models. For years, users complained Samsung was too slow with updates, but this strategy flips the script. It's almost like Samsung wants to prove it can match or even beat Apple's consistency. But the community is split. Polls show about 40% have already jumped into the beta. Another 20% are ready to join the moment it lands on their phone. And the rest, they're staying patient, waiting for the polished version. And honestly, that hesitation makes sense. No one wants a buggy device when it's their daily driver. Still, there's no denying the bigger picture Samsung is showing that your phone doesn't need to be brand new to feel fresh. Whether you own a Galaxy S23 Ultra, an A36, or something in between, you're now part of the story. And if your device isn't on the list yet, don't worry. Samsung has made it clear the expansion isn't over. The next wave is just around the corner. So will you risk the bugs for an early taste of Android 16 or play it safe and wait? Drop your answer in the comments. I wanna see how daring this community really is. Either way, the future of Samsung software is unfolding faster than ever, and trust me, you'll want to stick around because the next wave of devices joining the beta could include some surprises no one saw coming.